Allsphere is very active in sustainability. And as part of that project, we have launched the Green and Sustainable Chemistry Challenge. We have invited proposals from all over the world, but they should have applicability in the developing world. So we re received an overwhelming amount of 500 proposals, and after a long and thorough review process, the scientific jury selected five finalists. I'm uh, Dr. Eric Chan, and I'm from UCSL University Malaysia and I'm working on sustainable fertilizer delivery systems and biosolvents. My research team is actually converting agricultural waste into a polymer that can absorb excess plant nutrients. This prevents it from being washed away by rain. Our project is uh, to help to improve the standards of living of the uh, community uh, in terms of to improve their yield uh, production with respect to party uh, by using um, alternative green solution which is the bio base that we synthesize from a natural uh, plants-based material. Textile dyeing industry is water intensive and thereby it poses a lot of environmental concern because of wastewater. We actually seek to bring down the level of effluent in textile dyeing by using large surface area of nanocellulose and its very unique properties from surface functionalities. We're working with a water purification system based on the use of a vast waste material known as crab shells or shrimp, modifying it slightly, make a adsorbent for heavy metals. I want to build a very economic and eco-friendly water bottle with uh, biodegradable materials that is 100% biodegradable and extremely cheap so that everyone can afford it. At the conference, we had a, a long discussion with the scientific jury and we selected the two winners. The winner will receive 50,000 euros and the second prize is 25,000 euros. The prize money will have to be invested in an actual project in the developing world. The second prize goes to the biopesticides project, improvement of paddy yield. Susanna Yusuf, congratulations. We yeah, feel so very happy and overwhelming for the recognition given to us and for a chance for us to make an impact and change to the community and our country as a whole. The first prize will have a tremendous impact on developing countries. It will improve tremendously issues that are related to polluted water. And the project is sustainable textile dyeing using nanocellulosic fibers. Dr. Kim and team, would you please come up here? I can't really believe this is happening to me and I'm so thrilled and at the same time I'm so feel responsible for the uh, first recipient of this um, honorable um, competition. Thank you so much for the jury members and I'm so excited. The intention was to bring together people with a different background but all dedicated sustainability, sustainable chemistry. We have to have communication, we have to have uh, bringing people together from, with a different perspective and background uh, in chemistry, around chemistry, if you want to go for a sustainable chemistry future. The Elsevier Foundation is incredibly proud to be supporting the challenge in 2017. We hope, in fact, to boost more submissions from the Global South. We've learned that only 2% currently of researchers in developing countries are, are participating in sustainability science worldwide. We want to boost that with the Green Sustainability Chemistry Challenge, so send us your applications.